What's up, everybody? And, um, I'm gonna do a different type of video right now. Sure, I did a SmackDown review, and I know I do reviews all the time. But there's two things I want to speak on real quick. Two kind of, I guess, will be two important topics, if you want to say that. Two things. Number one, the WWE Network. My thoughts on that. And number two, Caitlyn's, um, well, departure from the WWE to why she has left the company. My opinions on the WWE Network. Most of the stuff that was really played out, what I saw at the press conference, number one, this was shit I heard back in 2011, okay? I knew about it, I had this stuff in 2011. Now, when they did the press conference and talk about all this content and, co and content, I've been talking with a lot of people about the network. And it is a lot of things. It's just a way to move most of their content from YouTube and put it into like some type of um, huge type of outlet for on-demand users. Am I impressed by some of it? Yes, but some stuff like Countdown, that was already on the YouTube channel for WWE. Legends House, I've been known that since 2011. That's kind of interesting to watch. The Monday Night Wars, that's also good, depending on how it's documented. And um, I believe the fourth show, whatever original programming is supposed to be. Um, the Countdown, the Monday Night War, oh yes, the R WrestleMania moments. Which is good, depending on which WrestleMania, maybe it's every WrestleMania match in a book and every WrestleMania here and now. Um, even though I can, most, once again, people upload their own type. Listen, I'm going to tell you right here. If you don't want to watch the half the stuff that WWE is putting up, you can go to YouTube and watch it. Because number one, everybody up, come on, everybody's nearly uploaded every WrestleMania, every wrestling pay-per-view, or any type of match onto YouTube. And a big question people are asking me, okay, will anything have to be done with 2004? Because also the WWE Network noted that you're going to get to watch all the pay-per-views, pretty much. All pay-per-views. And pretty much every pay-per-view match from WCW to ECW and the WWE. So it's like hella content on there. And pre-shows and post-shows of Raw and SmackDown and a, a studio show they're supposed to be doing. And when they said you can go back and look at all the pay-per-views, all 12 pay-per-views, and all this is, yeah, I would admit, this is a steal. This is a good bundle. All this for nine ninety nine dollars for a six-month commitment to it. Just nine ninety nine dollars and WrestleMania be involved? Yeah, I'll probably buy that when WrestleMania comes around. But uh, a lot of people will question me, okay, is everybody remember? They're going to show it for 2004, because everybody knows about the whole Crispin Y thing. Because we don't know if we can show all WrestleMania 20. And we don't know if we can show all of Royal Rumble 2004 because he won the Royal Rumble. So, um, I don't know. And they keep saying it's going to be unedited and uncensored. I don't believe that will be when they say unedited and uncensored sometimes. Because we know they pull off this bullshit sometimes. What they say it is that the PG politics always somewhat take over. So mostly, if you want to watch anything, I ask Chris, why well, you go to YouTube and watch it because it's all there. From all the WrestleManias and stuff. Um... I don't, I don't think, will they show it with him, I don't know, I don't know, pretty much, but, uh, my, my, um, there's a, there's a lot of things to say about this networking, like I said, if I want to watch all the pay-per-views on Wrestlemania, or any pay-per-view throughout the entire year, even though I have them suck, I can go to a site, and everybody has these sites nowadays where you can go and um, can go watch free pay-per-views. And I'm not going to put any names out there, but I know who you are and what you know out there of any sites you want to go watch your free pay-per-views on. People can do that. Is the Royal Rumble worth to buy? Yeah, I'll buy the Royal Rumble. Is WrestleMania worth to buy? Yeah, that's worth buying. But uh, most of every pay-per-view, you can go watch it for free. Most of this content is on YouTube. And it's pretty much a way to move all their whatever video on demand and pretty much at ECW TV just to something. But the thing that questioned me was, was it coming to cable TV? That was one of my biggest concerns. Now, they said it's coming to any type of device, any device it'll be on. Xbox, PlayStation, iPods, iPad, Kindle Fires, um, phone, any type of thing. Any type of ice, PlayStation 3s, PlayStation 4s, 
you can go watch all this stuff on the WWE Again account. It's good, nine ninety nine a month. Um, it's a good steal, but like, was it coming to cable? And I've been reading some things today about how DirecTV doesn't want to do it. Would be really kind of foolish if DirecTV wanted to drop all their pay per view stuff to WWE. Just think, oh, since the network's come, we don't have to do it no more. That'd be losing a lot of money because the pay per views will still be there on cable TV if you want to buy it for full price. And uh, another thing is. Super said they didn't want to buy it if it wasn't coming to cable TV. And yeah, it's supposed to be like a schedule for it where you can go wa watch these shows and everything. But, um, was it coming to TV though? That was a big question. And I think, I believe it's, I believe the interview of Vince McMahon saying that I'm thinking he didn't want to do that, no type of cable, satellite type of thing. Why? But listen, this network has been four years in the making. I've been known about this since 2011. We've seen the videos. We knew half of this shit was coming. We just didn't know when. And yet, it's going to be here February 24th, right after Monday Night Raw. Do I think the network will be good and be successful? I think it will. Especially 999. That's a steal. And all the loads of content you can go watch on there, that's great. I don't know about all the, I believe the old episodes of Raw and SmackDown also. That's good, even though most of everybody on YouTube has, or any, and maybe other sites, if, uh, Daily Motion, or this, they've all uploaded episodes, old episodes of Raw and SmackDown. Okay, and any type of wrestling pay per view in the book from the WWE, from ECW, from WCW. I've watched half this shit on YouTube, so I know it's already there. And I just don't, so don't believe when they say unedited and uncensored. Do I think the press conference went well? I think, yeah, I think it kind of went well. So, I don't know. I may put more thoughts in. I may make more videos. Maybe I get other people's opinions about the WWE and how the WWE Network and how that's going to go. But I believe it's about, I, I kind of thought about it until I was ready to talk about this thing. So, I think it will be successful. So, it's been four years in the fucking making, like I said many times, like I've just said hundreds of times now. So, we'll see how it goes with that. Uh, another thing I want to take, um, get my take on is uh, Caitlyn's departure from the WWE. Uh, about her going to do her own thing, whatever she wants to do now. Uh, my thoughts on Caitlyn, I don't think Caitlyn was really that bad in the ring, as I would say. I, I think she could work. I think she was good. The whole AJ versus Caitlyn stuff was really good. And I, and I did see her last match on main event last Wednesday when I kind of found out. And yeah, they kind of showed respect to each other and, and everything. And I think it was a really good match for Caitlyn and AJ last Wednesday. I mean, yeah, I think it was a solid match. And I guess AJ pretty much giving that hug like she does to everybody before, you know, whatever she was about to do. And yeah, she just gave Caitlyn that, that hug and into me and super kicked her and pretty much that was it. But even AJ wrote on Twitter how she's had her first match with Caitlyn, her last match with Caitlyn, what they've done in this company. So, I honestly believe they put down a solid match. Sure, Caitlyn wasn't that much of so the same after, you know, AJ beat her for the title and everything, but I don't think Caitlyn was that bad in the ring. I think she could work in some ways. So, I don't think she was the worst in the ring. I don't think she should have won that NXT shit. Yeah, I, I agree with that, but. I think Caitlyn did somewhat establish herself as a champion in a way. Well, even though we all know AJ is better, you know, I don't think there's really any type of competition right now for AJ. But, um, does this make it a little less for the Divas? Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I didn't like Caitlyn. I didn't hate Caitlyn. I thought she was an okay champion. I thought she could do well. Maybe could have got better. It looked like it did here and there, but that's my thoughts on it. So, Caitlyn comes back to WWE, maybe she'll come back to WWE. People have always returned back to WWE. Either that, go to TNA. Or your own thing, so. I'm not surprised, because this happened before when most of our divas that, I believe, last year were leaving the WWE. They didn't want anything pretty much to try to do their own thing. We all know the divas division sucks. We all know that. We all know that. We know it sucks, but the only thing that's most interesting to watch is AJ. Because we know AJ will put on a great match. Wednesday, you put on a really good match with Caitlyn for our last match. So, yeah. AJ is mostly the worst thing. Mostly the thing that's worth watching because she's actually really good in the ring for some good mic work and everything. So, there's a lot of things people say AJ's one of the best around there right now. And his champion is about to be the longest, whatever, Divas champion. So, 
that's my thoughts on the whole Caitlyn departure leaving. She'll probably return one day. I'm like said, fall. Don't hate it. Don't. Like I said. Like I said before, yeah. But um, and but I don't know. Mostly the most well, biggest thing I'm going to talk about in this video was the WWE Network and the Caitlyn departure, and that, that's pretty much what I got to say about it. If you got anything to say about the whole departure and this network, comment, subscribe, say what you think about it, or we may have more videos about this, especially about the network when it's coming. It'll be here in about a month, so. Would I buy it? Maybe when WrestleMania comes around, because I just don't want to pay forty nine ninety nine for Wrestle well fifty nine ninety nine for WrestleMania, so um yeah. But yeah, comment subscribe, you know what it is, you know it's here, so keep watching the show, live reactions, reviews, similar just similar like I said, tell me what you think about the WWE network and tell me what you think about Caitlin's departure from the WWE. So I'm out of here, I'll see you guys later. Peace.